Use that brick to break that chain. You think it's the same brick Craig knocked your ass out with? All right, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for being here. Throw me some love on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's dive right into it. Um, yeah, I've sporadically been putting videos out since I've been in Thailand. Listen, I got to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and just be direct. Many transitions happen to a person once they come here, especially when, once they live long time like in my case, if you will. So I'm trying to be honest, trying to keep it real. But honestly, I've been like kind of confused in, in a, a lot of ways about what type of content to put out because it's complicated, very complicated. So please listen to this, guys. Um, I will say this is that like many, most people that come to Thailand come for short time vacation. And there's a huge segment of the population that relies on that type of, uh, of, of tourism and holiday, if you will. Uh, a lot of those guys come here and they're trying to bag and tag it. it it's not all that, but people come here as couples it, 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 as well and to the same city centers and they spend money. Like people go to Phuket, people go to Chiang Mai. I live in Chiang Mai. People go to Bangkok or they like Pattaya, God forbid. You can pay me to go to Pattaya. But they come here and they drop off money. So there's a huge part of the economy of this country, north to south, if you will, that relies on that industry, that influx of tourism, if you will. So it kind of, like, once you've been here long enough, like in my case, like you start to understand what it is. You start to understand how people behave and act and whatnot and what they're, like, doing, if you will. And... Most people don't understand what I'm gonna talk about, but I want to talk about saving face. Saving face and losing face are the biggest damn lessons you can learn when you come to Thailand, or the, the, the biggest things you have to respect, especially as a foreigner when you come here to Thailand. To me, this is, this is lesson number one, saving face, losing face. What, what you need to understand is that people here live their lifestyle based on saving face. Saving face is a, the utmost priority. And saving face, you understand what I'm talking I'm talking about you do everything to protect your image. And people here don't realize how important it is. Even f like me as a Ferrang, I like, like, like if I walk around, like around town or if I, like let's just say I get like messed up in Mao and go home with some like, rusty old backroom 304 from the alley the whole town's gonna freaking know and the whole town is gonna laugh at me they're all gonna know and it's gonna be announced it's gonna be a thing i'm gonna have to like like account for like honestly it's gonna change how people view me how people respect me but it's the same way with these folks man when, 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 what you don't realize is how peop, how important it is to save face here. And this, like, guys, this really makes it easy. When you understand this, when you come here and live here, especially, women do not want to be with a man they can't save face with. Meaning, she wants to be with an attractive man. She wants to be able to justify all the shit she's putting out there on social media, all the stuff her friends are pestering and houndering like her ass about all those uh, things you're doing, all those trips you're taking, all that stuff. They're all drawn into this. It's really on like steroids here, in my opinion. And most guys don't really understand this. Once a woman's experienced this with you, it, you take that away. Now she does what they call losing face. And this humiliates her in front of everyone. <laughs> Everyone's gonna question why did you take it away? Why did you withdraw? Why did you like back off? Why did you dump her? Why did you like choose to deal with other, like another chick or whatever? This is really important. I don't think you understand how important this is. This is why you got to be careful about your social media. Number one, don't be giving this away. Don't be like, like, you know, flaunting it out there. Of course, they're going to ask for it, but be careful with that too. Because when a woman loses face, holy shit. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, you've opened Pandora's box. Once a woman loses face 
in front of her friends, like you've withdrawn something or taken back or you've dumped her or broke up with her, for example, or somehow, you know, you withdraw, whatever, or like basically she's going to look like a fool in front of her family, her friends and everything. And they are going to flip because the pressure is so intense on them, but it's also that intense on us. Because for example, if I, if I, if I, you know, deal with someone or, or, you know, if I'm friends with someone, I'm caught hanging out like with someone or I deal with a certain girl, whatever, the whole town's going to know and they're going to judge me. Like, seriously, I'm going to get dirty freaking looks like wherever I go if I'm dealing with the wrong type of person. It goes the same for them. So this is why, guys, listen, my advice, please listen to me. Stay in your damn lane. Stay in your fucking lane as a man. Like, honestly, deal with a chick based on your own level of looks, your own value, if you will. Let's just be honest, okay? A lot of guys come here, these old-ass douchebags with these fupas hanging up over their, their, their nub that's broke. You know what I'm talking about? The bum ticker. They got to go to the pharmacy and grab four blue pills. You know what I'm talking about? All four of them. Pop, 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 pop. And they still can't manage to come to the uh, occasion, if you will. Because these Thai chicks will literally do gymnastics on your ass. And it's unbelievable. So this is another thing. You don't want to be known as the guy that can't get it up. You don't want to be known as the guy that's like going out here slinging dirty or or like like shitty pipe, if you will. It's unbelievable. So when you, the more you like indulge in that, if you will, the more reputation you're going to build. And as I said, chicks will never lose face. So basically, when things go awry, things break off or things cut off, whatever, you move on, you're going to be known as the guy with shitty pipe. I'm just, I'm not saying that's me. I'm not saying that's you. I'm not saying, I'm just trying to tell you. I'm avoiding these things. I'm aware of these things. Um, when you deal with a girl, the whole town will actually know that like, oh, I see you with her. I see you with her. I'll have random people say, I see you with her. I know like, so they shut the fuck up and they, they, they just kind of stay out of the way. But you know, you'll get some cracks or whatever about who, like you're dealing with, whether it's for, like some of it's coming from like jealousy. They try to break you up because they're jealous of you or jealous of her. Uh, some of it comes from like people actually looking out for you, but it's up to you to like determine what their motives are. It's really not easy. So saving face is really fucking important to understand. Losing face is even more important because no one wants to lose face. No one. Don't losing face means you break down. You come out of your character. You start crying. You you you're ashamed or humiliated by a certain situation, but you don't understand what's gonna like the ramifications of that are. Like, what is she gonna do? What is she gonna say? What rumors is she gonna spread? Like, basically, you you can deal with a person and ruin a whole block. You know what I'm saying? Just by dealing with a certain person, by saying hey, talking to them, eating lunch, you got to be fucking careful. Reputation is so at the forefront here. I can't describe it to you. This is why it's important to understand. People here put saving face to such a high standard that local people will never rat out other local people, even at my expense, even my friends, supposedly. Um, women will not sit here and snitch on other women, typically. Yeah, you'll find some bits, like respites of it, but man, you ain't putting on, like, they're not going to go on camera. Hell no. All these guys you see shooting videos and stuff walking down the street. Oh, look where I'm at. All these girls and stuff. Man, fuck out of here. You wonder why I don't shoot videos like that? It's because it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, and it makes them uncomfortable. Man, they will literally fucking block their face. And I've seen guys like, I see it every day, guys that come here and the first time and they're pulling out their GoPro. Oh, look at where I'm at. I'm walking down and and these chicks are like, oh my God, fuck out of here. They're, they're mad. They don't want to lose face. It's all about saving face. So this is my entire point. This guy has lost his face. These chicks are going to save face. Now this dude is a target. 
Now, this is my entire point. If you want to stay long time, like like long time in Thailand, it's a wonderful place. As long as you're honest with yourself, you're honest with the, the people around you. You understand the transactional uh, magnitude of what it is here. It's not all transactional, but it's pretty damn transactional, bro. It just is. You are looked at as a certain way. The more Thai you learn, this is a big red pill for you guys. The more Thai I learn, the less attention I get. When you can look at them and say, fuck out of here. You know what I mean? It's like, it's crazy. So there's a, there's a, there's almost like two cultures, if you will. But understand this. Women will utilize uh, and men will too utilize the the value of the, the the culture that everyone sees on short time, if you will. The, you know the the surface culture. They'll use that. They'll they'll take and extract everything they can from it, and they'll post it. They'll f go like buy whatever they buy. They'll, they'll you know they'll do what they do. But no one's going to take your money physically. They're just going to manipulate you out of it. But it's on you. But the thing is, is you don't realize what's under the surface, and this is where it goes bad losing face is one of the worst situations a man can ever be in because i'm gonna tell you dude these motherfuckers will go to any lengths like we had a guy uh two days ago an american here in shanghai uh you know he shanked somebody you know what i'm talking about went into a undisclosed location which they didn't tell us in uh in the press if you will which is ironic in my opinion we'll get into that later but yeah he went in there and ran, like shanked somebody a, a, a norwegian guy which i'm not in promotion like listen he got arrested he got caught he's going to tie prison fuck him but the thing is is i want to know why he did it now they're saying oh this guy just randomly fucking no get the fuck out of here they didn't tell us the bar they didn't tell us why this white knight uh from norwegian uh, norway jumped in front of him going after somebody else. They didn't tell us all that. Now, I'm not defending this guy, but there's more to it. That's all I'm saying. And as I said, no one is going to lose face. 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 The, listen, this dude supposedly did this act at 3 a.m. at a bar that was supposedly closed. <laughs> the police weren't even called until the next day at 11 a.m., like eight hours later. Now we call the police. Oh, yeah, this happened. You know what I'm talking about? It's that type of shit I'm talking about. Saving face. Man, there's more to it than, than what you know in that article, if you will. So, man, women will do anything to prevent, like, losing face. But when they do lose face, it's ugly, guys. I'm trying to tell you because it affects everyone around them and it affects you if you go out here and you break a girl's heart you mislead you lie to her you sell her a damn dream and you fucking snatch the rug motherfucker the whole town's on alert and you are the villain i swear to god so this is the thing don't burn bridges be honest be up front keep it real try to like filter out that type of shit if you can but don't, like, go around, like, completely trusting everyone. Understand that everyone's going to save face. They're not going to tell you the fucking truth fully. Even myself. I got friends here. I have local Thai friends. But I will never be. I will always be an outsider. I don't like to admit that. I will always be the outsider. No matter how hard I try, how much Thai I've learned, I will always be the outsider. And with that said, they will save face at my expense. They will lose face at my expense. It's up to me to make sure that I don't cause this in either or, or allow them to make me lose face. Because me losing face is the worst of all. When I lose face, I go to jail. I'm just, I'm just trying to keep it real. So saving face and losing face is the two most like primary things you have to learn if you plan on coming to like thailand long term saving face is like pro like priority number one they value this above damn near everything dude i'm trying to tell you they will not snitch your own people out they will single you out before they snitch your own people out they they're not going to go on camera and interview 
like if you actually meet a like a Thai person that tells you the truth, holy shit, they're not gonna go on camera. They'll tell you like in person, but they'll tell you, don't put me on camera. It's nuts. But this is just what it is. Saving face and losing face are the two main crucial primary things you have to learn if you plan on coming to Thailand. It is utmost, like it's the utmost importance in my opinion for you to learn and understand so that you understand human behavior here, how people move, how people operate and what it's about. Meaning if a chick's with your ass and you're like, she's 25 and you're 70, motherfucker, she's only, she's, she's saving face because she can tell everybody what a stupid ass you are and how much money you got. Her saving face, if you're a good looking, young, fit man, you know what I'm talking about? She can save face that way. But understand, a woman does not hold hands. She doesn't do PDA with dudes. Like, you, like, that she doesn't, like, can't, she can't defend. A woman don't do anything here that she can't defend. She's not going to even be seen with a motherfucker. She can't defend, defend herself being seen with his ass. Like, maybe she can if she turn around and say, oh, well, he gave me a fucking 5,000 baht. Okay. <laughs> oh, what a sucker. <laughs> she can defend that. But... If you're a regular average dude, understand this, guys. It's This is not just men and women, like, or just women. It's men, too. Same, same. Men are the same damn way, but men don't care as much as women do. But women are extremely, uh, like, in, like, like, this is what governs everything, in my opinion. Who, they, like, who, where they shop, what kind of, like, every, what kind of car they drive, what, like, how much money they make, like, where they live, uh, who their friends are, like the guys are seeing, dude, they love to brag about this stuff, guys. A lot of women here love to brag about their Gucci purses, the old t lock taking me over here and this and that and all that shit. Guys, it's on steroids here. So, yeah, you're doing all these nice things for her. It's all cheap and all fun, all dandy. But when you snatch the rug, you'll find out what losing face is and you'll find out the consequences of making her lose face. When she's got to explain to her friends why you vanished, motherfucker, she's coming for you. I'm just being honest, guys. She's coming for your ass because you made her lose face. I did all the, oh, but you don't even understand. There's so many horror stories I've heard. Chick bricks through windshields, uh, like, like, Dude, I've had chicks come up in my room looking like, I'm for real. I've had to tell like hotel staff and all that stuff. I've been there for real. I'm, we all got stories. Like, I'm I'm terrified of this bra. Like, I'm not going to that part of town type, like, trying to avoid her and shit. It's scary as fuck, but they will find you. Oh, they're going to find you. Oh, they'll find you. So just understand what time it is here, guys. Learn this lesson. That's the moral, like, the point of this video. Saving face is the priority. All of them, ab like, abide by this policy, if you will. Losing face is the worst of all. I promise you guys. You learn these two things, I think you'll be all right. With that said, I love you. Salute from Chiang Mai, Thailand. Mid-October, weather's cooling off. Beautiful. Love it, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.